डियर स्टूडेंट्स मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग अबाउट द बी एस सी वेब टेक्नोलॉजी सिक्स सेमिस्टर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल अनु कंप्यूटर एजुकेशन सो इन फ्यूचर वॉट एव द वीडियोज एम गोइंट अपलोड इमीडिएटली विल गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन सो दिस चैनल इज नॉट ओनली फॉर बी एस सी इट इज फॉर बी 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 ए बी कॉम एंड बी एस सी एम एस सी एम सी ए एंड एम बी ए एम कॉम इन फ्यूचर आफ्टर गोइंग टू एनी पी जी सो द पी जी रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन विल भी अवेलेबल इन माई चैनल you can make use of uh, those important questions along with the explanation videos will be uploaded so now without wasting further time directly we are going to the unit 1 so what is a uh, list different types of list in html with example so remember one thing when you are writing the html web technologies uh, answer in your final answer, final exam so you have to follow the certain guidelines you have to follow so then only you can get a good marks in final exam so first thing is uh, whenever you are getting any question first you have to write the definition of that uh, concept after writing the definition you need to write the tags which are used in that concept so, tags and subtags after writing the tags and subtags and what are the different types of attributes which are used in that concept so all the attributes you have to list out and you have to write about the some few points about the attributes after writing the attributes you have to write one simple example program so this is a way of writing the web technologies answer in final exam so what is list you know this list is uh, related to what uh, your uh, ms word and ms office uh, uh, bullets concept so we are going to display any li items list of items with help of some different symbols or sequence numbers so in that case we have to use a concept of list so we have total three types of list are there one is uh, order list and an order list and definition list so the name itself is saying order means what is the meaning of ordered order list is nothing but a sequence so like numbers you want to generate uh, alphabets you want to generate uh, or uh, small abc or uh, small roman numbers so then we have to go for the order list an order list is nothing but Uh, symbols like bullet uh, the uh, circle uh, square uh, disc uh, and definition list is used to describe the what definitions okay so next we have to write it so next presentation and formatting tags you know text to formatting tags or formatting tags both are same so you know what is the meaning of presentation tag so whenever you are displaying any uh, content on the website so you need to use what presentation tag so like bold tag italic tag underline tag subscript superscript uh, next uh, strike uh, big go uh, small all like, emphasize em all these are all tags are comes under the text formatting tags or formatting tags in html so all these tags you have to explain and after that you have to write one simple example program and next what is frame explain in detail with example so you know what is the meaning of frame dividing the browser window into either in rows or columns is known as frames and uh, the frames can be divided uh, rows or columns it is your choice depending upon your requirement and uh, you know vertical frames and horizontal frames are there so mixed frames are also there so you have to write and frame set tag we have to go to use and uh, in to add any uh, uh, answer we have to use frame tag so this is what you have to write with example so cascading style sheet you know already it is used to provide the styles to your web pages so we have total three types of style sheets are there one is order list and one is not uh, uh, this one uh, in internal css external css and uh, embedded css so all things things you have to explain with example so what is the meaning of hyperlink and it is also called as a tag so you know what is hyperlink now linking one web page to with other web page is called as hyperlink so everything you have to explain in detail now so the next question is what is table and with its attributes in detail so table is a collection of rows and columns in table tag is uh, we are going to use so that sub tags are tr th td so tr is used for creating row and th is used for table heading and td is nothing but table data so all these things you have to explain and uh, what are the attributes which we are going to use in table tag like uh, row span call span cell spacing cell padding height uh, width uh, okay and uh, next uh, align so the background color border okay so all these things you have to explain for this uh, concept next when it comes to the form so what is form you know already uh, we are going to if you want to create any re student registration form or anything or employee registration form so we need a form so in form we are going to use different form elements or form controls like uh, check boxes radio text area and uh, okay so etc these are called as uh, form elements so you have to write it in this detail next what is the position elements uh, so you know position elements z index so this is what we have to write now when it is comes to unit 
uh, write about in prompt and uh, now you know prompt is an input dialog box which is available in javascript alert and prompt you have to explain so next uh, write down the different types of control structures you know if if else else if switch these are control statement based on the condition the certain statements are executed if the statements are false the statements are not going to be executed so these are very very important questions and uh, what explain the program modules in java and next what is the javascript advantages and disadvantages you have to write so what are the looping statements in javascript so for loop while loop do while loop so repeating the same statement again and again until the specified condition is true is known as looping statements so while loop syntax so in this compulsory you have to write the definition of looping statement after that uh, for loop while loop do while you have to write the definitions along with the syntaxes followed by one example program which is, which may be in the for loop or uh, while loop or do while or for loop one loop you have to write so next what is function a function is nothing but a self contained sub program which is used to uh, uh, do some operation so in c uh, javascript we can create a function with function keyword like function function name so, so you have to write the logic of the function so whenever you are calling function the function will give you answer so recursion is nothing but a, a function itself is calling so that is called as recursion so what is operator and different types of operators so now operators are nothing but a special type of uh, uh, what uh, symbols which are used to perform a specific task you know you know in javascript operators are like unary operator binary operator ternary operators all the operators you have to explain in detail with example so with example means no need to write for all the concept example first you explain the operators a list the all the operators followed by you write one example uh, concept like uh, arithmetic operators or relational operator one example program you write it is more than enough for this concept so when it is comes to the unit number 3 so what is given what is an array so you know the, the difference between arrays in c language and javascript is uh, in c language an array is a collection of storing similar type of values whereas in uh, javascript array is a collection of storing dissimilar type of values in a single variable so array can be created with the normal way or else array can also be created with array object also so how to create and how to store the values you have to explain and uh, you have to write one example program next uh, what is an event and uh, you and uh, different events available in javascript so you know different types of events are there like more events keyboard events and all these events you have to form events browser events okay all you have to explain how to pass an argument to a function so how to pass array as an argument to the function so this is related to the function concept next rightly uh, briefly about the string and math or, uh, uh, document object so already predefined functions like in c language you learned say, string length to string copy string length uh, so here string upper string lower so all pre rediment objects are available in math also okay seal floor so all rediment objects which are available so if you want to use you have to use math or string objects you have to use okay next uh, what define xml so xml uh, is mainly used for what storing and uh, transporting uh, transferring the data from one computer to another computer through network is known as xml and we have tried about the features of xml so write about a dtd and its use in xml so next is xslt so this is working on it so next uh, uh, compare traditional web application with ajax applications so these are very very important please uh, subscribe my channel anu computer education to get further updates